What's going on, everybody? Jake Adams coming to you from the Reef Builder Studio. I know that Carol in here is atrocious, and in time, I'm going to have everything set up so that we have a very nice, clean, professional live stream. But at the moment, I am working on the studio. Um, let's see, did I make that? What's up, Colin? The first one here. I'm just going to give it a second. Watching from school. All right, so this is actually the first time that I'm streaming from here. And uh, I want to talk just about a couple things. Um, one is some question and answers about the studios. Uh, I've got a couple of neat products to unbox here. Um, I've been actually waiting and holding onto these for you guys uh, so you could see what was inside. There's going to be a steady parade of reef toys coming here through the studio. Um, Again, uh, the echo in here is atrocious, and I'm going to be working on it. In the meantime, I think I've been, I've been fiddling with the setup all day. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so thanks to a couple dozen people who are commenting in the thread. Um, shout out to everybody that's going to Magna. Make sure you find me uh, either at Booth443. He'll have a big old Reef Builders uh, banner. And um, either I'll be there or I'll be walking around. Don't hesitate to stop me, say hi, take a picture, show me pictures of your tank. You guys don't do that enough. You don't show me pictures of your tanks enough. Um, we all have pictures of our tanks on our phones, so make sure you show me that stuff. Um, let's see what else. I will be doing a workshop at MACNA and, um, on coral fragging. And they, did, they just put coral fragging on the workshop but um, kind of want to go beyond coral fragments. There's actually a lot of reasons to cut corals, chip away at corals, um, beyond just propagation, cleaning up corals, cleaning up uh, or, or, or making, you know, trimming colonies, um, taking off pests, separating corals from the rock. There's a lot of reasons why we have to become basically like mason experts and learn how to chop that stuff up. So. Um, thanks to everybody for tuning in. That dotty back is insane, you guys. I, seeing it in pictures is one thing, and I've seen pictures of it. This guy, I mean, I can't. I almost never, ever, ever not quarantine a fish, but I was in communication with TSM corals for a long time, and um, I knew when they put it in quarantine, and they told me what copper they were keeping it at, et cetera, et cetera. But, yeah, that thing is insane. He is just like a complete little tre uh, treasure. Um, thanks again for everybody uh, tuning in here in the live chat. That's a bunch of you guys. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, this is the start of something really new, really exciting. And uh, for me, like this is the end goal. Like this is what I want to do. And um, oh, one thing I wanted to mention about the Coral Fragging Workshop. Back to that for a second. Uh, my good buddy, Shane Danger from Australia, who's the founder of the Marine Aquarium Fanatics of Australia group. Actually, I got to get Mo. I, he's right over here. There we go. There's Mo. So if you don't know, Mo is like a roaming gnome for MAFA. And uh, he's been uh, doing a cameo in some of my videos here. He's going to be coming to Australia where he's going to get handed back to his uh, his daddy. We can go back to Australia. So that's going to be a really fun time. So okay. Mo, right there. So Shane and I actually collaborated on his presentation about uh, coral fragging for Reefstock Australia. So everything that I wanted to say about going beyond coral fragging uh, is in his presentation. So we're going to do a joint presentation um, and he's got some really cool ideas. Long story short, because I got a lot of stuff I'm going to talk about. Workshop is on Friday at 1 p.m. Consider it an unofficial Reef Builders uh, video meetup. So if you're a fan of the channel, you go to MACNA, come to the coral fragging workshop. That'd be a great place for us all to, uh, to get together. Oh man, let me, let me check on these comments here. There's a ton of you guys, man. I can't even keep track. I need someone else to read this stuff while I'm doing this. I want to, man, I got to say, like, I was uh, super shocked. First, I was proud to make it on the Mad Hatter's Reef Top 10 YouTubers. And then I was flabbergasted to just jump to the number one spot. Because um, last year I wasn't on there. But there's a lot of great YouTubers. And the point of that video is that... The YouTube, the Reef Aquarium YouTube community is developing into its own thing, its own 
monster. And I think we're just seeing the beginning of it um, in the studio. It's going to be, it's going to be for all of you guys. It's going to be so much fun. And oh, man, right now it's, uh, I have to do so much logistical work, like installing a wireless network, getting the electrical into my name, um, getting more electrical here in the place. It's just, uh, how's the audio you guys? Oh, that, was, that was some aspiration. So I hope, I hope that the echo is not too loud. I can't speak too loud. Here, check this out. Whoa. Yeah, there's a, I call it the echo monsters. There's nothing in this big room. So... Uh, let's see, what else I want to talk to you guys about? So get yourself ready for Magna. Make sure to download the Magna app um, because it's going to have the full schedule on there and it's just like having the program in your pocket. I think there's a bulletin board where people can chat with each other, connect with each other. Um, another great reason to download the Magna app is if you're into the raffle. Uh, raffle prize winners, winning numbers will be Posted inside the app, so you won't have to be um, you won't have to be present to win. So you're not going to have to like burn all this time to go to the raffle area and uh, you know wait for your number to be called or for the product to be called uh, or the prize to be called. So that's really really cool. Um, and some other basic tips about Macna is drink plenty of water. I know Las Vegas is a party city. And uh, just make sure to pace yourself, drink plenty of water. It's also the desert, so it's really dry. So if you want to have the endurance to just have a good time, feel good the entire weekend, just bring a water bottle, drink a lot of water, no matter what else you're drinking. And have some good walking shoes. I always get either new shoes or new insults. Um, let's see. Thanks to everybody uh, tuning in right now. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so I'm going to open one thing at a time because I've actually been saving this stuff. I'm going to start saving the stuff that I receive in the mail. And I'm actually going to put my P.O. box in the description of my videos here shortly so that you guys and um, companies can send me whatever and we can uh, communicate in an analog, physical way because, you know, digital is great. It connects us across the world. It's nice to have something you can feel and touch and squish once in a while. So let me open the first thing I've been saving for you guys. Thanks to everybody for tuning in. I hope the echo's not too bad. And uh, let's see what we got in here. Oh, man. God, I've, been, I've had this thing for like 10 days waiting, waiting, waiting for this live stream so I could have something cool for you guys. Check that out. Oh, my goodness. If you don't know, Coelacanth is like my super duper favorite. Hey, shout out to Gaspar Renko for the first ever donation I've ever gotten in the live stream. Look at that awesome shirt. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put it on right now, but I'm definitely gonna wear it back. So this is a Coelacanth shirt. God, I love it. I hope it fits. I think it looks like the right size. Yeah, yeah, that's that's gonna do. Really cool. So this is my, my Coelacanth shirt. Thanks again, Gaspar Renko. Here we go. Um, all right, so now to some questions about the studio. It's called a studio. It's not the farm. It's not the store. It's not Jake's online coral business. This is literally going to be a store where nothing is for sale, and it's almost never open. It's, this is purely for the love. This is 100% dedicated towards making videos to you, for you guys. My mind races so fast when I think about all the stuff I want to do. I want to make, I want to rebuild the Ketomorpha planet and just have a giant ball of Ketomorpha and that's that's the display. It's going to be an anemone tank, giant clam tank. Um, there's going to be several displays on the same system and then there's going to be standalone displays where I dive deep into the NIOS ecosystem, the Red Sea ecosystem, the Brightwell ecosystem and learn all the different chemistries and try to follow their directions to a T and see how that works. Uh, you know, when you stay inside that sandbox, um, there's going to be nano tanks, huge tanks, cold water tanks, fish tanks, coral tanks. I mean, it's just going to be, it's going to be crazy. Um, thank you, Paul Butchick, Props Nut FPV, for letting me know, uh, for reminding me, how am I financing this Expedition. I think he meant this endeavor. 
it could, it's not possible without you guys, um, your support. Just, just watch the channel. Like that's all you have to do. It's just like, uh, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. You know, there's a certain amount of revenue that comes from, um, the views. Hey, shout out to Rico. Thanks for the two bucks, man. I cannot wait to see what you do with your 500 gallon tank. Once the studio is rocking, man, we're going to be doing, we're going to be collabing so hard. So hard on the collabs. That 500 gallon tank, man, that's going to be super, super fun. So, you guys help the channel, uh, you know, come this far, but this, this would be virtually impossible without the three big channel sponsors Worldwide Corals, Ecotech Marine, and Brightwell. These are three companies that not only encouraged me to do this, but they pushed me to do the YouTube thing hard. There's, um, like I said, there's a growing monster of YouTubing, uh, of reach requiring people on YouTube. And uh, yeah, this is just the beginning, but Worldwide Corals, Ecotech, Brightwell, love those guys, man. I've known those guys personally for so many years, and this is gonna be so much fun. Um, if you want to show some gratitude, Tell them. If you see them at the show, tell Worldwide, tell Ecotech, tell Brightwell that you love the channel. Tell them what you think. You know, thank them for supporting this um, enterprise. And, um, yeah, that's that's how that's going to happen. Hey, Ramel Santa Ana, thank you so much for uh, for the donations. It's just neat because I've actually never gotten donations before, and I've gotten three in the stream. Um, but... Um, I've actually, actually, you know, the business is paying for this, the sponsors are paying for this, and I personally have been buying a lot of knickknacks. I mean, I need a desk, I need, I need like cutlery, I got a fridge, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna be spending so much time here. Like, this is a lounge, by the way. This is gonna be the lounge area, which is gonna be a little bit more chill with a couple of couches, and I'll be live streaming from this back area. What, what you see behind me, that is 20 by 20 feet, and that's gonna be almost a tank free zone. That's the TV, couch, place to chill, and the rest of the studio is going to be filled with tanks and tanks and tanks. Um, so as the channel grows, you know, I do plan to have um, a, a merch store available by the end of the year. I'm not going to push it on you guys like anybody whose last name ends with Logan. Um, I just hope to make some you know, really nice shirts and some really cool custom stuff that you'd want to wear, you know, not just token stuff to represent the channel, but like stuff that's really cool. Like my brand new Coelacan t-shirt. Dude, that is so lit. Like I am so stoked. <laughs> that turned out really, really good. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, also, um, probably by the end of this month, I'm going to launch a Patreon and that's going to be a place where we can communicate and stay in touch a little bit more intimately. Um, and uh, there'll be a lot of different perks, and I don't, I don't know how to do it, so we're going to figure it out together, but it's going to be a cool place to um, support the studio itself, and the money that, that comes from these, these donations. Abdullah, thank you so much. Uh, we got 10 bucks from Abdullah Wazel and $5 from Michael Salagas. Thank you so much, you guys. That money is going to go straight into the studio because – there's a baseline of things that I can do as far as like setting up cool tanks, as far as like, you know, bringing you guys along, but there's some like crazy ish, crazy, crazy stuff that I've been thinking about for like 20 years since I was 14. And again, when I think about it, I'm just like, oh, I just I get ahead of myself. So merch store by the end of the year, Patreon probably by the end of the month. I'm not going to be selling corals, but I think I have a unique, interesting uh, avenue to participate and, and to get corals for some of the top Patreon supporters. Okay. Um, so this is kind of a test live stream, you guys. Thank you. I am who I am for the $10 donation and Stian Andresen for hundred and okay. I'm not sure if North is that North Korean <laughs> currency. That'd be funny if it was, I don't know what NOK okay is, but I'll look it up later. Thank you so much to everybody for, for supporting the, uh, this live stream. Let's um, let's open something else up. And this is just a few things because like I got a whole shelf of, of mail. I have a whole shelf of stuff that I'm going to be saving from my wand to share with you guys. It's like, you know, this is super fun. 
And uh, I'm also going to go to Spiderco. Spiderco is a uh, knife shop, knife maker here in Golden to get myself a real unboxing knife because this is all I have right now. So this is kind of interesting. I do know what's in here. And let's get it open. Let's see what you got. I can actually look at what's going on here. Thanks to everybody for tuning in. Uh, this is really, really cool. You know, I don't, I don't really care too much like how many people – subscribe to the channel. I want the most engaged audience. That's what I want. I think I need to thank a few more people. Professional Fish Keepers, thank you so much for the $10 donation. Are you going to be more into coral or will you have some fish systems? I, this will be the coral show, but there's enough room here that there's going to be some freaking cool fish. There's a fine art of fish keeping that has been lost in the generic community reef aquarium. So you bet your booty there's going to be some fishy fish tanks, some cold water tanks. And man, it's really weighing on me that I should be breeding that new doggy back. I've actually never bred a marine fish. That is a shame. I've never bred a marine fish and that doesn't make no sense. Like, uh, <laughs> all right, you guys want to see what I got here? This is reverse nanopump. That's, that's an interesting one right there, reverse nanopump. So we've got this new crop of these kind of like computer fan style uh, pumps that are, are coming out lately. And um, I'll probably, you know, I'll dive into this a little bit more on a future review. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be pitting like cheap lights against expensive lights. And it's not about like what's best. It's more like, where's that value point? Where are the, the perks of having a really, really nice, Light versus a light that's hundred bucks in the last year, a year, and it's good enough. So let's take a look in here. All right. So I'm sure before anybody says it, you know, yeah, okay. It looks like a looks like the wave puck, kind of like the Nero, but the Nero is way smaller, way thinner, and it's going to have the cool controls. But I will put this in some tanks and uh, get some stuff started. Um, let's see. Any other more? Killer questions here. Norwegian, Norwegian. Yeah, I wasn't super sure about it. Okay, I was, I was just kidding about North Korea. All right, what else? Okay, so so right now, you know, I'm vlogging. And for, for those of you guys who have been following the channel for a long time, um, my thing has been to tour, to go to people's houses, to go to stores. And honestly, like all that travel is like really weighing on me. I love Colorado. I love being home. I love my own tanks. I love other people's tanks too, but man, I, I don't, I've, I've probably traveled a million kilometers in the last five years. And I don't even know 10 years, but no joke, a million kilometers, um, just crisscrossing the globe, going all over the place. And um, so with the vlog, I'm kind of testing out the level of detail um, I should share with you versus actually getting stuff done. Um, so there's obviously the intro, we had to do that. And uh, yeah, just, you know, if you like it now, I'm always in the pursuit of trying to do things better. Like right now, it's killing me how much echo is happening here on this video. Um, hey, 10 pounds from Rusty's Aquarium. That's like real money right there. Thank you so much, Rusty's Aquarium. Again, all these uh, super chats, that's going to go into a kitty and that's literally just going to pay for the studio. Um, I think it's almost paid for because I've been saving a lot from the restocks. You know, the proceeds from restocks, I'm not blowing it on fancy cars. I have the same car for eight years. Uh, I've just actually been saving a lot of money to do this. It's like, this is kind of my dream thing. And the way to do it is to bring you guys along. Um, but again, with the vlogs, I'm trying to find the balance between showing you the progress and showing you the results. And um, man, right now, it's just a lot of busy work. And I'm hoping to, uh, I don't know, really just kind of connect and, and talk to people um, in person at Magna, see what they like, see what, you know, find out what, what you guys really want to see. You know, the, uh, the Nano Aquarium, that was the first vlog that hit 25K or something. Obviously, the finished aquariums are some of the most popular. Um, <sighs> okay, good. I'm glad you guys don't notice the echo. I think this is a really good mic and it's doing the job. Um, but the finished tank was really popular. I'm going to do some jumbo tanks. I'm going to do some small tanks um, and a little bit of everything in between. And you know, one thing I'm really excited to do is, is, is throw away a lot of aquarium dogma. There's a lot of things that we have 
carried over from freshwater to saltwater and from saltwater fish to coral aquariums. And there's a lot of echo chamber that's been happening, no pun intended, um, uh, regarding what we really need to be doing for our saltwater tanks and for our corals. And so instead of telling you what I believe, instead of diving into hypotheticals, well, I'm going to have a couple of test tanks some replicates where we can test out different lights, different temperatures, different salinities, um, ammonia. Like I'm, that's one of my first tests I want to do. I'm going to start dosing these corals with ammonia and just I'm really, really sure that corals do not care about ammonia. I've never cycled a tank for corals. Just give it a day or two for temperature and salinity to balance out. So, yeah, um, let's see. Wow, thank you so much, Camille Nowakowski, for 10 PLNs, whatever that is. I mean, maybe it's Polish money because it's got a kind of Polish name. Um, saltwater pond. You know there's going to be a I've always wanted a pond, but I live in Colorado, so it's, uh, it's too cold. I've done ponds at home. And it lasts about three months. There's like three months of the summer. It's almost like two and a half months where it's warm enough to keep the temperatures outside tropical. So I, I kind of see a saltwater shark pond in my future because I love epaulette sharks. And there's so many animals that I've never been able to keep because I didn't think I had the good enough tank. So yeah, a pond is definitely going to be happening. Um, let's see. What else did I want to talk to you about? Do, 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 do. Let's let's open up the last box because that's kind of a really cool one. If you know me, you know I will always be saving the best for last. I think this live stream is going pretty good. Stephen Hawking's has resurrected. I don't know what that means. A mod for future live stream. Yes, yes. Like it's really hard to talk to you, read my list, go over here and look at the, all the different comments. So. I have an intern in the works. He's a high school kid. I've been training him for about a year to watch my tanks at home. Um, but you know what? Let's see what this what's in this box from Taiwan. Ooh, this is actually one I requested. I asked for this one because this is a really, really cool one. I've seen it kicking around for a couple of years. And this is probably one of the first exotic lights that I set up here. Oh boy. Let's see what we got. Let's get, let's get that firmly on camera. Break it down just a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Thanks to everybody for tuning into the live stream. It's good, good fun. That's a lot of styrofoam. Okay, well, I think. What did happen? Making a mess over here. Okay, that's so fun. The main box is mostly just the hanging system. But this is. HM Electronics Cetus 2 LED. So this is a Taiwanese light and it's a tiny little pendant. Um, think of it like a par, you know, par 38, but smaller and it doesn't screw in. It's Bluetooth controllable. You can see it's got that big old cluster right there. And um, I think they private labeled some of these for Vox Japan. And um, damn, I saw these. Like I, I was actually, you know, I think the first time I saw them was maybe year and a half ago, and then I saw them again at MACMA in New Orleans, and um, they just really, really do it for me. Uh, just, let's, get, let's get one of these lights out. Oh, look at that. Isn't that sexy? Just a tiny, tiny little Bluetooth-controlled LED spotlight, multicolor, multi-channel. Um, it does have like a tiny little fan inside and a really cool um, uh, mounting system. Wow, that looks so cool. You know what? That even looks better than the first one that I saw, the CS1. So this is a CS2. Very cool. I pretty much did this live stream so I could finally unbox the stuff, so I could use it on some tanks. And, you know, I wanted to bring you guys along and uh, just kind of give you a, a nice update and uh, talk to you guys about MacNet. So what's next for the studio is um, I've got one coral flat mostly finished. Um, I've actually salted it up. I've salted it up today because I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on how to do it. But now that I have a template for that coral flat, um, I know exactly what I want to do for the other two. Um, what else? Say? Oh, and this is going to be one of the first comparisons, right? It's not a, a com competition, but I have three high-performance uh, controllable pumps that each pump 2,000 gallons per hour. So we got the Aquabi Up 8000, the CJ Synchro SDC 7.0, 
and the Vectra M1. And so they all do right about 2,000 gallons per hour. They're all controllable. One's from Germany, one's from Italy, one's from America. And it's going to be really cool to put them head to head. Two of them are wireless. One of them, the Aqua B pumps a 1,000 gallons per hour with five watts. I don't even know. That's got to be a typo. Like, I don't even know how that's even possible. Um, so yeah, these two, these three pumps are going to go not head to head, but comparison on just the, you know, just, just the general performance. So next I, I got to get this first coral flat going and then I can get some corals in here. And the reason for the coral flats is just to have like a nice population of corals that I can always just kind of on the fly, just put this coral in that tank, put this coral in that tank and fish are going to be thoroughly quarantined all except for that one dotting back because I had TSM corals do it, and even the, the corals are going to be quarantined. You know what else? You know what? You know what hit me is I'm going to have to quarantine the invertebrates because I don't want any rice snails coming in on the, uh, on snails that might infect the clams. So it's going to be really thorough. You know, I really, I want. I don't even want bryopsis. I don't want to deal with bryopsis, derbysia, aptasia, uh, chicken liver sponge, uh, vermintid snails, all this stuff. Like it's so much easier to cleanse your tanks first, cleanse them from ever getting into your tanks, then to deal with them later. So it's going to be kind of a, 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 a challenge of patience to just do everything slowly, methodically, and right. Um, so that's what the coral flats are for. Obviously, some corals are going to be growing out in them, and over time, there's going to be extra coral, but uh, there's a lot of tanks that I'm kind of scheduling to come here into the studio. Not quite a 500-gallon tank yet like Rico's, but eventually, when the time is right, we're definitely going to do that. So um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, salut, gros, gros Johan. Bonjour, monsieur. And um, yeah. So besides the two coral flats, I have the uh, Innovative Marine EXT 75 100 I got last week. I'm going to put those two along with two other tanks onto a common system. So it's going to be four display tanks, but one common system. Um, so if the, eventually, I only want to have like 15 to 20 systems here. Um, so a lot of them are just going to be linked. So it might even be like 10. Um, so yeah, so that's the live stream for today. Thank you so much. Um, I mean, you know what? Let me take a look at, at these comments here. Um, I don't know about Pico in the studio. I definitely will do some nano. I'm trying to figure out a space, like a dedicated space where all the nanos can go and I can just completely cheat. Instead of testing, measuring elements, they'll just all be on a routine of like big water changes once a week. Um, oh, wow. We got a Jamason reader. reader. Uh, do, do, do. So yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. We got, uh, we got a couple things unboxed. This is the first live stream from the studio. It sounds like the echo wasn't too bad. I kind of really humbled to see a few super chats, but this is, you know, this is going to be what you hope it is. This is going to be an amazing ride and I'm going to do my best to bring everybody along as much as possible um, and share it with you. You know, this would be really selfish if I just set this place up and only show kind of like the end results. So this is really for everybody. I want every, I want to just stoke you guys about reef tanks. I'm going to, shatter your expectations of what a coral aquarium is, uh, you know, just really get things diversified as far as fish tanks, nano tanks, unusual tanks. And uh, yeah, I'm going to grow a big old mangrove tree in here. So actually right now I can afford the rent, but I'm not sure if I can afford the power bill once everything's plugged in. And that's where like the Patreon and Super Chat is going to help out a lot. So um, thanks everybody for tuning in. I will take your suggestions. I'm going to read through the entire chat once uh, I sign off. And um, I think a mod definitely uh, taking a look at all of this stuff um, while I'm talking is going to be really, really good. So um, the upload speed here is also really good. So I think the image quality is really great in real time. Um, so again, this is really, really great fun. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of you guys in Las Vegas in like three days, four days. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Definitely um, want to see you guys at my workshop Friday at 1 p.m. Me and Shane Danger, we're going to kill it. Talk about, you know, you know cutting corals a thousand different, maybe not a thousand, maybe like 10 different ways on to cut corals. And, uh, yeah, this has been fun. You guys, you guys make it worth it. And I will talk to you guys again very soon. Hey, stay tuned. I have, I'm going to try to put out two more videos in the format. One will be a vlog and one will be an amazing, just mind-blowing reef tank that I've been saving right before MacMed because Faisal 
is going to be coming to Magna. So a um, couple more videos coming down the pipe. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you are subscribed. Comment on the videos, like and share, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Let me just get my cursor over to the other screen. There we go. Bye, guys.